Hello and welcome back to the Hayden Show, where we are see continuing the live action Marvel hero TV show. We're not... essentially at the halfway point. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. But between this and the next episode, that's the halfway point. Yeah. So we're basically at the halfway point. And I'm the last of the Defenders saga and Punisher for no The last, as I said, the last of the Netflix saga. Yeah. Which, as you say, is the Punisher. Yes. the final solo series, mm-hmm. which obviously came out post-Defenders, since he wasn't in Defenders. Mm-hmm. I believe this episode's called The 3AM Club, mm. because most of it is nighttime. It happens at 3AM. Yes, that is true. That is true. And mm-hmm. obviously, unlike every other series we've covered in this Netflix saga, you've never watched Punisher. This is the first time you've ever seen an episode. Yeah. Whereas I've obviously seen both series. Mm-hmm. And love the show. Really? I could not tell. Frankie Castle. I mean, eh. he's right there. Oh, yeah. Guns are blazing. I mean, before this, my only exposure to the Punisher was really that one episode in Avengers Assemble, the animated one. Really? And you show me on the films, I think. Warzone? We watched Warzone. Mm. One with um, him out of the other guys. <laughs> The one who likes uh, Kylie Minogue and yeah. a little dimple on a woman's butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, I think that's the only real exposure that I ever had to it. It's very brutal, very out there. It's definitely very... I mean, it has to be. I mean, the Punisher yeah. is a brutal character. I mean, this is the fourth incarnation of the Punisher in live mm. action. Obviously, you had Dolph Lundgren, Thomas Jane... Um, I generally can't remember his name off the top of my head. Dan St- Stevenson, I believe his name is. Mm. Uh, and obviously now, John Berthold, who probably plays the most accurate Frank yeah. Castle. He's definitely, he's very he's very gritty, very a broken man. I think out of all of the Defenders ones as well, he's the only one that has no powers. He's just a normal guy with guns. I mean, yeah, there was a real power. Yeah, he yeah, so he... enhanced... Senses. senses. So that's technically a power. It's technically mm. a power. I'll let you off a warning then. For what? <laughs> well, I don't know. For like, something. Like I'll, saying, I'll find something. Because technically, Iron Man technically has a power because his, his suit is the power. And his intelligence. Whereas with Frank, it's just he's a skilled fighter. That's pretty much it. Could still kick your ass though. Obviously. <laughs> I'm not a skilled fighter. Sledgehammer in tow. Oh my god, yeah. He's it's very heavy on the violence and heavy on the dark. It needs nature. to be. It's the Punisher. Mm-hmm. I mean, his old gimmick is an ex soldier, so it has to deal with a lot of PTSD, which a lot of this series does. Yes. Um it needs to deal with obviously his past, which mm. is a mystery. Uh you just know bits and bobs from Daredevil. Mm. Uh and obviously I mean, you don't even get to meet the villain of the series in this episode. Mm-hmm. He's under wraps. Good old Prince Caspian. <laughs> from fucking Narnia. Oh, God. I mean, it's definitely a mystery. I mean, cause like, I know that his family dies, but obviously this one, it shows it in snippets as if he's replay- replaying, like, the memory. those memories over and over and Until over Until the last again. shot of seeing his wife getting executed in front yeah. of him. But you don't get to see that. You just pan on his face as he's ang- like mm. screaming as the blood splattered over his face and behind him. Yeah. Which is really well done, personally. Mm. It's... I think it portrays PTS- PTSD quite well, because it's that cycle of the same memory over again, but it's getting more... More violent, more twisted, more detailed. And, like, you don't even know if that's actually how it happened. That could just be how he's yeah. replaying it's it. Like in his, that could be his mind twisting that normal waking up I'm moment. I'm pretty certain that's not how it happened anyway. Mm. Pretty certain it's the carousel. Yeah. I'm pretty certain, if I remember correctly, it's mm. like to that carousel. Can you see... It's been a while since I watched Series 1 of Punisher, but mm. I'm pretty certain the executions yeah. went down in that carousel. I remember in one of the films, it was during a picnic. And after the show, them having a picnic. I remember in the Thomas Jane one, mm. uh, it was like a massive like family like get together, mm. like, they were, like, like an island resort or like Happy as Larry. You had the guy from mm. the main character from Jaws, he's playing his dad. 
all happy as Larry, and then like people came in and started killing everyone, mm. and then John Travolta turned up, and then you know Thomas Jane started fighting Tom, John, wanted to kill John Travolta. Uh, I can't remember the Warzone one, and that might have been the picnic one. Mm. So I say if you've not seen the other one, then Warzone would probably be that one. It would be the picnic. Uh, you see, uh, you see the cats. Like, you see memories of other picnic. That's why it's the only one I can think of. Uh, Mm. War, uh, war. I think I remember in Wet War Zone off the top of my head was uh, fucking the guy who played Nedra of uh, Jurassic Park being me. <laughs> who's that guy at the end of this episode if I remember correctly uh, I believe if I remember correctly he's that guy if my not if my remembering stuff correctly I say it's been a while since I've watched War Zone and that guy is Micro I don't remember what you said sir if I remember correctly his mm-hmm. name's Micro again it's been a long time since I watched the first series mm. I think I've seen it once and that was back in 2018 I mean it's what 2022 now sorry 2017 it came out in 2017. Yeah. It's 2022 now. So it's been a long time since I watched the original series of Punisher. Mm. Like, it's the first time i watched it since it came out. Mm. So, you know, I'm bound to have trying to... Remember things. Yeah. Different. But yeah. I'm pretty certain his name's Micro at the end. Mm-hmm. And I say, I'm pretty certain it goes down the carousel because mm. I say, you don't get to, you haven't got to meet the big, big bad of this series yet, which is obviously Billy Russo, mm. who obviously they don't portray as the big bad... They build up to him being the mm. big bad until he basically becomes Jigsaw for series two. Mm. He's the guy in the from Warzone that gets chucked into the pile of glass. Yeah. But they do it a lot differently than this. Obviously, if it is the merry-go-round, it's a bit more poetic how they mm. make him Jigsaw in this. And I mean, they even don't really have it as fucked up as it is in Warzone. It's more just like little bits of scars. Mm. It's more of a mask that over the top that makes him Jigsaw. Mm. Yeah, um, I really enjoy Punisher. It's definitely my second favourite mm. Netflix series because it's one that doesn't put a foot wrong, in my opinion. Obviously, other shows have had issues, but this is one just like Daredevil with me that hasn't stepped a foot wrong in all of its run. And it's one that constantly drew me in because mm. John Burfall Berf- is a perfect Punisher and it it's, it's such a good adaption and I'm hoping they do bring him back into the MCU as the mm. MCU's Punisher because I loved his instruction in Daredevil and I loved his two series run and I think this show ended perfectly but I still would love to see more. Mm. Kind of remind me of like the first, the, this pilot kind of remind me of the pilot of Obi-Wan the idea of a broken man like trying to not get involved trying to hide in this like false identity of the created and being then forced into yeah, like the life. Events around him making him go back into that life of Yeah, but this beat Obi Wan to it. <laughs> well yeah, so technically Obi Wan You're only saying that just popped <laughs> to be on the fucking T V, that's fucking why. No, that came on that came on after I was mentioning it. Ironically. I don't trust you on this one. That came on I don't trust you on this one. After I was thinking that before. If you started then making a She-Hulk reference, I was saying... It doesn't talk about the She-Hulk. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, it's... I mean, it's... The idea of that, that him being dragged into that... Well, he's trying to ignore... He's seen slowly ignoring all this shit happening around him, like these... Bullies. Twat, twat heads. Basically, bull- basically bullying some people, and obviously yeah. trying to bully him, basically thinking that he's special in the brain... Mm. In reality, we know he's not, and you can see he's like fist clenching, like he's holding mm. every ounce back because he wants yeah. to murder these guys so badly. And it's mm. not until they push too hard against someone else that mm. he sees as not a threat. That yeah. he's like, okay, that's it, game over, bitches. Sledgehammer, mm. breaking legs, breaking faces, shooting people in the eyeballs, mm. you know, burying a hammer into people's like, face. Yeah, and to show that he's not a complete psychopath. He lets the, the obviously the kid who is forced in, like whole robbing that place. Leaves him with the money. Him the money in the same and then gap. goes and deals with the criminals to make mm. sure they stay away from him. Slash mm. the criminals. So he's like, well, if I'm killing people now, I might as well go fucking kill these motherfuckers. Fall into it. But that whole sequence with the the lights going out and the guns blazing. Yeah. that's something they do a lot in this show. There's a lot mm. of moments they do at those sort of scenes where it's pitch black. Because that's his and tactic, isn't it? And you see the lighting of the guns. Mm. Um, I think the one time I can remember is the scene, obviously, when Micro's players get mm. attacked later on in the series. 
it goes all dark and you can see obviously him go like guns blazing in the fucking light and you just keep seeing like the flashing lights and the Punisher logo mm. popping up every now and again. I think because like, 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 he obviously has no powers, so his whole thing is he has to use tactical advantage. He uses military training. Yeah, meant to, like he uses like this whole surprise attacks and using the darkness as a way of like keeping himself fine, but also killing them. So that's what I like about mm. this show because it does a lot of obviously a lot of its flashbacks going forward is a lot military flashbacks. Obviously, back when he was a soldier, mm. and obviously that does give hints to how he, why he's like he is, and also why his family was targeted. Mm. Like it, it's slow, obviously the flashbacks build up to the reasoning behind all. Or everything that's gone on I with mean, Frank. In this episode, like he, he like he just say to his military mate that you know everything but the shit we did back then in Afghanistan. I'll say a lot of torture, a lot of dark. There's a, I mean, there's a whole mm. torture sequence you get to see. There's, there's a lot. I mean, most of the present day stuff is him. Then uh, most of the series is him hunting down people that were linked to this basically yeah. mission that he knows knows something about. His family's demise and why mm. basically he's never been why he's basically never vigilante because of his family's death. Yeah, there's a lot of those sort of flashbacks and mm. edging into the present going forward. And obviously, there's a whole police obviously his plot line of obviously uh, Madani uh, mm. trying to basically hunt down Frank while also getting him to bed with Russo. Mm. And obviously, all that's twisting obviously because then she's technically. Hate fully like getting against the wrong side mm. of the equation, if you get what I'm saying here, because you know she's parenting who the villain is mm. while ha- after essentially the hero, and all that starts twisting more and more. So mm. there's, a, there's a lot of interesting plot here, and I definitely think it was set up right this show by his yeah. appearance in Daredevil that gave that little hinting show what he can do of what he can do and what. Everyone become... around him perceives mm. him as because the fact there's a whole court case and that about yeah, him being a murderer. Because the... obviously, even though he's doing trying to do right, good, he's, he's doing, doing it in the wrong, wrong way. Because mm. he's... he's the punisher. He punishes people by yeah. executing them. Basically, Which is why I also like as well. Okay, he's that like intro is black and white because that's how he sees the world. And the whole intro is black and white guns mm. and bullets <laughs> flying and eventually. Guns forming the Punisher logo before mm. blinding light makes it white mm. and the Punisher is revealed. So yeah, it it is pretty well done. Mm. And it, it fits its themes and I'm in my opinion it's interesting. Like there's nothing that really drags this down. It's the it's rightly paced mm. um, and it gets straight into it. Unlike a certain Iron Fist show, which pilot didn't get into the idea oh of God, yeah. the Iron Fist. This gets straight into the idea of he's the Punisher. Each one. And thing yeah. is as well, this wouldn't have had to do it because he's already had his introduction. So you've seen him as mm-hmm. the Punisher in Daredevil. So they could have just got away with a Luke Cage type pilot episode here where yeah. nothing truly massively happened but we wouldn't give too much of a shit because this character's already had his introduction elsewhere. Mm-hmm. But they'll go like, no, fuck it. We'll build up to it and have yeah. it happen at the end. I mean, it happens at the start then it flash forwards like a year. Mm. It flashes further than the line, where it basically is it's like a wreck of a man just hiding away on a new identity because mm. Frank Castle is supposedly dead. Yeah, so but, you can tell how broken he's up because he, he barely reacts to anything, really. You know he notices everything. He's just yeah. not reacting to it because he, like, you know, he, he does sat, react, he will kill Like when someone. he's sat against the wall, he, yeah. he, obviously drinking his uh, cup of tea or coffee, whatever yeah. he's drinking. Not, even, lo- not even looking at the people in the eyes. He's cause... just listening to them. He just knows. Yeah. He just knows shit's going to go down. He's just like, no, nope. if I get involved, get involved, don't get involved. I get brought back into the light. Yeah. And they realise Frank Castle isn't dead. The mm. Punisher isn't dead. And so then... he can't do anything. But when it comes to the ending, it's yeah. the case of, it's either I get revealed again, or this kid who's already stated that he's having to pay for his grandma's meds because yes. she can't afford it and he has mm. to look after her. And he's explained that his parents have died. Mm. His dad used to be a soldier. It's the case of if he dies, then she's probably going to die. Mm. So he then sees that as family. I, I, the family dynamic of, I've lost my family. He dies. His family dies as well, mm. fully. So it's the case of, okay, they, obviously, I'm going to make it try and not look like the Punisher's back by having them die and then throw them into cement to yeah. get rid of the bodies. And then on top of that, obviously, if I go and 
just kill all these people, they might just assume that someone else is gunning them because they're a mob boss. Mm. So it's the case. He's like he's doing it in subtlest ways. But obviously, Micro mm. could also secretly delete footage, and no yeah. one will ever know. Because technically speaking, you can't get a good visual on those cameras. He, he only knows it's him by the way he walks. Yeah, because he's got like a film, a video of him walking. He's like, oh yeah, yeah it's, it's like welcome back, Frank. Mm. But anyone else probably might not even spot that. Yeah. Especially if he wipes the tapes, mm. then they wouldn't be able to see. There'd be, there'd, be, there'd be the speculation of is the Punisher back, and they'd be like, I mean, there is that one comment early on from the yeah. cop, and it's like Frank Castle's dead, mm. so you know it can't be the Punisher here, and it's like mm, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, I, I definitely very much enjoyed this show, mm. and I definitely would recommend you sitting through the rest of the show. To mm-hmm. get more into the mind of Frank, because mm-hmm. it is pretty well portrayed. So PTSD is really well done throughout the show, throughout both mm-hmm. series, not just from Frank's perspective, but Russo's in the second series. There's a lot of PTSD to do with him, like mm-hmm. flashbacks to Frank, uh, okay. like a lot of his trauma. Like there's a hot. If mm-hmm. you can watch a clip online of Frank walking down the road like a devil mask on, mm-hmm. and that, obviously they think it's like their man. And they're like, oh, saying his name. I was like, what are you doing over there? And he's like, just yelling Russo. And he's just like, what the fuck? And then he pulls the mask off and throws the jacket. And the logo's there. And then he starts having PTSD flashbacks to seeing that logo mm. put an end to his misery. So it's like, there's a lot of, it does PTSD like heavily throughout these mm. like two series. Since it kind of has to, because it's about war. Yeah. And war leads to PTSD. Mm-hmm. So I, I think they do a lot of that really well, personally. So I do recommend mm. sitting through it. And obviously it's only two series, like all the other ones. Only two other shows managed to get past the second mark. Mm. This was cancelled before the series two even aired. But I still sat through it because it's interesting. It's violent. It's perfectly portrayal of the Punisher. Because mm. all the other ones, I've not seen the Dolph Lundgren Punisher. So I don't know about that one from the, the fucking 80s. I don't know too much about that one. Um, I've seen the Thomas Jane one. That wasn't fully violence. That wasn't heavily Punisher, Punisher. But I like Thomas Jane, so I like the movie. Mm. Um, and you know, it's hilarious seeing John Travolta as the bad guy. Um, and then obviously, Warzone felt more like Punisher because it was more violent, it was more mm-hmm. gritty, it was more brutal. But this feels like the Punisher the most mm. because it's it obviously has the more time to drag it out. So like each episode's about fifty minutes, so it has like thirteen. Ep- 26 episodes to get it right and it does so i feel like this like the punisher has slowly been evolving perfectly mm-hmm. into the correct punisher and it may have taken what from like the whenever the first one came out in the 80s to 2017 well mm. 2016 realistically for daredevil uh to get to the point of a accurately portrayed punisher perfectly mm. but it was worth the wait I've said okay. my piece. <laughs> okay. Anything else you can think of here? Um, well, I think I've said everything. Like, I think I carried most of this episode for yes, you. Yes, because I know a lot more about this show because first time you've watched it. The first time you've watched it, yeah. But I know a lot more about the yeah. show. And I'm a big Punisher fan. Mm. I mean, for me, it's not really my cup of tea. I'd say, not really what I like. I still watch the rest of this, the rest of the first and second series, but like, it's not the one that draws me in straight away. It's like one if you were watching it, I'd watch it. It's like John Wick. Like I'd watch it if you're watching it. I wouldn't actively choose to watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like if someone put it on you might watch it. Yeah. But if obviously you're not gonna hunt it down because it's not something that you normally mm-hmm. hunt down to watch. It's quite quite overly masculine, I'd say. <laughs> whole... Gun- guns would you expect? Yeah, it's very like Guns are very overly masculine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was on more like more the Jessica Jones, you know, feminist. Yeah, <laughs> alcohol, <laughs> <laughs> getting pissed, violence. Woo. Woo. <laughs> yeah, it's still good. It's like it's I can appreciate how good it is without letting my opinions of the way it, like what type it like it could be. It could be I know it's good. He's done shot good, good. He's done good, the way it's been made. It's just not my audience. You know what I mean, yeah, it's targeted to action. Basically, people like action movies. Yes, like it's like the John Wick kind of lovers. You know, people like the idea of 
one someone... man versus the world. Yes, like the whole, whole the whole revenge plot as well. Mm. Yeah. I'm guessing you're going to notice the writings there then. And I'm yes. guessing you want to see, again, the writings. I do. God mm-hmm. damn it. I might just put it on the screen for you behind me. And then you could actually have it behind. Um, mm-hmm. I have too many notes. Okay. I would put it... Hmm. Look at the camera as you say it. Okay. I would say... Putting my, like, bias out of it. For once in my life. No bias. Fucking hell. I know, yeah. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. But then is... again, that might be the cheese clogging up my caress. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it definitely sh- it's shot better. It's got more, better story than I would say like Luke Cage and stuff like that. But I would still prefer Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I would say about 18, that's 89. Oh, when you're saying that, I was like, I know where yeah. this going to be. It's like, if it's better than this, but it's not better than this. Well, there's only one point in between them, so that makes sense to get there. Yes, 89. How about you put your fucking biasness out of the way? I know. That's, un- that's unlike you. I can tell you run well, then. Um, oh. Okay, then, so I'm not going to fuck up this time. Yeah. Uh, since I had to edit in the uh, rankings last time. Okay, so giving this 89 out of 10, plot- slots punish her straight into sixth position, uh, knocking, obviously, Luke Cage down a peg. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we finally, for the first time in this show's history, have something knocked out of a top ten. Because I that. <laughs> obviously, so far, all three series we've done, there's only been maximum ten episodes we've covered. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the first series we did was the crossovers. We only, we only did ten. Obviously, we'll go back to that eventually. Uh, second series, obviously, with anime pilots, only mm-hmm. did ten. Again, we'll probably go back to that at some point. Third series, Prehistoric uh, Park. Wasn't even ten episodes, only six episodes. <laughs> so we didn't even have a top ten, we have a top six on that one. Yeah. And then obviously the Christmas specials we're building that each year, so you can only do so many a year, so it's gonna be not till next year that we get anything mm. knocked out of a top ten. So this is the first time we've got that because of how many episodes we need to do for this series. So mm-hmm. for the first time ever, something is no longer in the top ten. So obviously last episode in humans in humans got knocked into tenth position. And it has now been knocked out of the top 10. It is now in 11th position. That's going off the board entirely because anything past 10 goes out the board entirely. Mm. Obviously, at the, end, the last episode of the series, I'll put an actual like proper tally so you can see how it actually unfolds more rather than mm. me just like, saying, oh, it's gone now. That's it. There is The full focus of the top 10 in the videos, but I might either put it at the end, last video or mm. on the social media, putting like, the top 10, obviously, how it actually fully ranks. So for now, it slots into 11th out of the equation entirely and obviously that means we now have a, no- a new uh basically series on the danger seat which is obviously blade blade's currently in the hot seat now if yes. anything if anything gets rated above 50 blade's dead i'm pretty, I'm pretty sure certain. then again what's next mm, it depends it might not be your cup. i don't know if you've seen the show it might not be your cup of tea it is quite hmm. <laughs> oh. Uh, I think that should be the next one, if not. Okay. It's the other one, but pretty soon this came out before that, mm-hmm. since it has more series. Um, okay. Um, okay, so... My question is a simple one. Just like I've said mm-hmm. with the, all the other Netflix main stars, would you like to see John Burthall back as the Punisher? I mean, I will say he definitely is a good Punisher. I would. I mean, I can't really think of anyone else mm. who... Is that good? I mean, you wouldn't even think that. Obviously, if you watched The Walking Dead, you wouldn't heavily think that this guy would be an g- amazing Punisher. I actually think he would, like, from Walking Dead, just looking at that, because the way he is, you just play that broken man who's, like, on the brink of just losing it. Yeah, but he's lost, mm. he lost it straight away in The Walking Dead. That was more, like, the crazy, like, psychopath way, whereas like, this one, he is able to show that line of him not being a psychopath. I don't know, I just, mm. I just I wouldn't have thought before and like, he'd like, I, I don't know who personally would make a great Punisher before mm. they announced John Burford, because I mean, the others had their own moments, but none of them were amazing Punishers. Obviously, the closest probably Dan was, Dibio. the closest obviously was Stan Stevenson, mm. he was probably the closest to a Punisher, mm. but there's still obviously, eh, with that as well. So I wouldn't, there's not really anyone off the top of my head that I'd go, he'd make a great Punisher. Mm. Obviously, this is the second walking to the actor to play. Punisher, because in the anime Iron Man movie, uh, Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl, oh. was the Punisher in 
Iron Man: The Rise of Technovore. He was that that movie's Punisher. So it's mm. the second Walking Dead star to be a Punisher. But as I say, I, I wouldn't. There's not really anyone off the top of my mind that I'd just, I'd be like pushing heavily for a Punisher. Mm. But obviously, now we've had him, and you've been able to see what he's actually able to do. I think he's the perfect choice. Mm. Like any criticism you might some people might have had beforehand, like it's straight out the window. Mm. Like as soon as he like steps into frame, it's like, oh no, that's all gone. This is like. Especially after episode well, one of this show, like that fully goes out the window. Mm. If he wasn't cemented as a Punisher in Daredevil, which for me he was, this one just throws it out the window entirely. Like, mm. just cements him as that character. But like, I can't picture anyone else as the Punisher. I mean, I can't, yeah. say, I can't picture anyone else as a Punisher before him, mm. but I can't picture anyone else as the Punisher now. Yeah. Since he's that. Like, like a lot with like a lot of MCU characters, yeah. that's a lot of them tend to be so perfectly. Like cast. Robert Downey Jr. You can't yeah. picture anyone else as Iron Man. Yeah, you can picture other people as the other characters, like mm. the ones calling like Ironheart and that. But you can't yeah. really picture anyone as an actual the actual Iron Man. Maybe yeah. Tom Cruise in the alternate yeah, universe. Maybe just because yeah. I really want to see that happen. It's just like going to be <laughs> hilarious if it does. Oh, I mean, it's like you wouldn't think going into Captain America like Chris Evans would be a great Captain that's America. What I mean. Like to me. Like he's like as Johnny Storm. How he's more goofy Captain type America. character, yeah. yeah. He, like he, uh, him as an actor, or he plays. Like, he used to play a lot of comedy. funny comedy characters. So you wouldn't have think. But it'd he's be a really good, 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 really good cap. In that's a lot of times, I mean. you are surprised. So I mean, I do admit, don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I think John Murphy did a really great job in The Walking Dead as being his dark yeah. character. But is you look at him and you don't picture the, pun- the Punisher coming out of that. Yeah. But now you look at it and you go, oh, I can see mm. where that's coming from. So yeah, I, I I definitely want to see him back. Mm. So basically, every single one we so far, we said, yeah, bring him back, bring him back. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. So that's it. Um. Next week, we move on. I believe it's Legion. Is next mm. week's one. I believe that's what's up next. I think mm. that came out before the other Fox one. So we're moving on from Netflix to Fox. Yes. Since it's obviously the two series on Fox. Mm. Two X Men based ones. Obviously, Legion, of course, being the mm. Professor X linked one, mm. since it's uh, David Heller, I believe it is, mm. who's obviously a big link to Professor X, who's in Series Three, I think, but sadly not the Professor X we know, like a complete <laughs> actor. Uh, but yeah, so I believe it's that next week. Mm. If not, it's the other one. But I, I, off the top of my noggin, it's Legion. So uh, Legion. yeah, so mm-hmm. we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and we'll see you for Legion. Yep. Bye. If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.